They're called fidget spinners. I'm talking about fidget spinners. At this point, either you have one personally, or you probably know people that already have one. But these fidget spinners and fidget cubes are the must-have devices right now. Similar to crazes like yo-yos, slinkies, and fingerboards. Yeah, you remember those? Fidget spinners have achieved massive hype and success in a relatively short period of time. But now currently, there's different versions of them that make up all of Amazon's top 20 best sellers for toys and games. So what makes these fidget spinners so addictive and why does everybody feel that they need one? It's kind of like almost playing with your pen. It's just something to have in your hand. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and on this channel we give you facts about everything and everything. Let's first take a look at what a fidget spinner actually is and the science behind what they accomplish for a person using one. There's a central bearing that you grip with your index finger as well as your thumb and there's a three-pronged blade that rotates. Although depending on the model, the styles of the blades as well as the material may vary. And once you initiate the spin, it can spin for minutes at a time. These fidget spinners were initially marketed as tools for anxiety and they were designed for children with ADHD and autism. Now as you may already know, therapists have been prescribing fidget toys for their patients that suffer from ADHD, post-traumatic stress disorder, various forms of anxiety, and autism. These fidget toys were things like silly putty, clays, stress balls, etc. But specifically for people that suffered with ADHD, these type of fidget toys allowed their need for constant stimulation to be fulfilled. Now in the case of the fidget spinner, the sensation that comes from holding a fast spinning object as you tilt it back and forth and actually feel the various spinning forces move in your hand, it can be very calming indeed. It is so satisfying. I really think I understand why people love these things. In a post on health.com, fidget spinners are actually recommended to be used along with other forms of treatment. So that leads us to this question. Do fidget spinners actually work? According to science, fidget spinners can be very efficient when you do combine it with other forms of treatment. But fidget spinners alone do not cure anxiety and currently there is no research that shows that. However, there are several reasons as to why fidgeting can actually be beneficial. Did you know that your body movements are actually part of your thinking and expression process? I guess it's a little bit of a given, but let's take it a little further. Let's take, for example, me filming this video, right? As you can see, like as I'm sharing the facts with you, I'm using my hands to express myself and hopefully it's allowing the information to be delivered a lot clearer. <laughs> Or you, for example, say you're speaking to anybody actually, your hands or other parts of your body may move as sort of like an expression outlet. Yo, you gotta see this! Or, nah, don't waste your time watching that. And as a real world test, just try this. Try texting a friend or something and try not to move at all as you're thinking of what to type. Yeah, next to impossible, right? It's like this urge to have to move in order to get our point across or for our thoughts to come out exactly how we intend them. When someone is thinking, they move, they look up many different facial expressions. So why does that actually happen? This is because physical movements can assist with cognitive abilities, similar to writing things down in order to remember them more easily, or drawing to help your thinking process. So fidgeting can actually help you think and express yourself. When you're fidgeting with an object, that also helps to create an emotional attachment to that object, and that to some degree can serve as a replacement to having a real human available. Not saying that an inanimate object can replace the connection that two human beings can have, I'm just sharing the facts that objects like fidget spinners can be an outlet for the need of human interaction. Apart from the sensation that you feel spinning it, the other massive appeal with fidget spinners specifically specifically is the variety of tricks that you can do. There are tricks of varying difficulties that you can perform, so there's also the sense of a new challenge and mastering a new skill that comes along with it. Fidget spinners come in a variety of colors as well, 
some containing more heavy duty material can cost up to a thousand dollars. So the next time when you're browsing through YouTube and you're wondering what the heck is up with all these fidget spinner videos, but when you go out and you see kids using them and you're saying, I don't get it. Well, now you know why. So guys, let me know down below in the comment section. Do you own a fidget spinner? And also, do you think that these fidget spinners are just a passing fad or do you think that they're going to be around for some time? Let me know down below. This episode of FTD Facts was brought to you by Grammarly.com. Install Grammarly for free to begin improving your English skills immediately. Grammarly helps with hundreds of spelling and grammatical errors that you make every single day. Join the hundreds of FTD Facts users that have already started using Grammarly.com. The link is down below. You can install it for free or you can also purchase the upgrade for even more features. The link to that is down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget you can also support us through Patreon. We're giving away rewards now to anyone that becomes a monthly patron. You can find the link below in this video description and since you're here, might as well stay a while. Check out some of our other educational videos.